wonders, mighty deeds. These are the signs that were given to the apostles. These were the signs by which you could identify the true apostles of the Lord Jesus Christ. There were signs, wonders and mighty deeds. Now the question is, what were, this, uh, what were these signs, wonders and mighty deeds? Look at Mark chapter 16. Mark chapter 16, we will read verses 17 to 20. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name they shall cast out devils. They will cast out devils. What the charismatic preachers claim to do today. They shall speak with new tongues. And we'll talk a little bit more about tongues later. Verse 18, they shall take up serpents. They shall take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. Then you have these people drinking poison, let us say. And it will not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick. They would heal. Heal the sick. And they shall recover. So then after the Lord had spoken unto them, he was received up into heaven and sat on the right hand of God. And they went forth and preached everywhere, the Lord working with them and confirming the word with signs following. Amen. You see, these are the signs that God had given to the apostles by which you could identify them as apostles. They could cast out devils, speak with new tongues, take up serpents and they would not be hurt, drink deadly uh, poison and it would not hurt them. They could heal the sick and these were the signs that God had given to the apostles by which you could identify them. Now the question is why did God give the apostles these signs and wonders and mighty deeds? Look at 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and we'll read verse 22. For the Jews require a sign and the Greeks seek after wisdom. Look at that. The Jews require a sign. Now the new uh, English versions, the modern versions, have changed the word require in, in most English version, uh, versions to demand. And they say the Jews demand a sign what is the problem with that 